On today's episode, we head out to explore the amazing local neighborhood of Wan Chai before sitting down for breakfast and finding some gems. Then we head down to the harbor to catch an icon of Hong Kong. All right, the ferry's just rocked up. Get ready for the stampede, my first and first serve. Rio gets to meet one of his idols and take his first trip on a Hong Kong subway. Good morning fam, welcome back to another beautiful morning in Hong Kong. We're just going for a walk and we're going to grab ourselves some breakfast. So Bro's still feeling a bit, uh, a bit sick, it's good, he's, he's going to come out with us and we're going to find a place to eat man, uh, maybe a western breakfast, maybe an eastern, we don't really know. But look at this place man. On the flight over Rio started feeling unwell but he still wanted to make the most of our short time here so we headed off to check out the local neighbourhood. Me and the bro were just talking and if you know Auckland, or if you're from Auckland, you know how crappy the public transport system is, like buses and trains are not good at all. And they've been trying to do the light rail for a long time, but what they need to do is come to a place like this and see how it's done. High density, heaps of people, but they've got cabs everywhere that are quite reasonable. They've got um, buses, they've got trams, they've got subways, and everything just works with all these people in it. Maybe we should have a look at these guys. Yep, Auckland is approximately four times larger than Hong Kong, but only has one seventh the number of people. So surely we should have better transport options, but nope, they are kaka. Anyway, we love walking through the streets here. It's such a different environment, but everywhere you go, you're met by colorful and interesting back streets selling fresh produce, local bakeries, and even butchers. Now for me personally, I probably wouldn't be rushing to a butcher or anyone else that has their meat hanging out in this hot and humid weather. But I'm not a Hong Konger and that's how they do it. And they have some of the most amazing food here that I've ever tried. So who am I to complain? Yeah, so walking around Hong Kong, or Wan Chai in particular, you get a really nice feel of the modern and also the old school as well. It's a really good mix and it goes for ages so if you want a good way to start your day just go out for a walk man and have a look at the beautiful surroundings the awesome shops selling meat and selling goldfish and flowers and vegetables amazing man amazing so we went for a walk but we're going to come back to this place that i saw last night that was really busy man it definitely looks like a western spot but that's all right it's called feather and bone so we're going to go check it out and hopefully they do good breakfast man I don't think yeah. <laughs> Bro, that hot chocolate is amazing. It tastes like it's got legit chocolate in there. Yep. Hey, like some Swiss chocolate or something. <laughs> Bro, that is not normal hot chocolate. It's like they melted down some like, shit. <laughs> And you get that biscoff. I don't know what that is. Cheers. God damn this ketchup. You want to explain to the camera what you have uh, purchased? What you've got for breakfast, mate? Uh, simple avo on toast, brother. Nice. And uh, fruit bowl and yogurt. What do we got, man? We got is that raspberries? Blueberries, blueberries, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, pomegranate seeds, nice. mango. Is that yogurt on the bottom? Oh, nice, man. All right, man, I got some homemade beans, man. We got a sausage here. We got some potato tater tots, some bacon, some lovely looking eggs, and all cooked on a sourdough toast, man. Yeah, the food was good at this spot and they even had a little deli and thankfully they sold packs of that hot chocolate there. It was so good bro. Alright, we just finished breakfast and man, the main breakfast was okay but that hot chocolate, 
was absolute fire, man. I love that. I'm gonna go back to actually sell it there. Someone to give me some. But we're finished up, and to be honest, we had a big day plan, but we're kind of tired, man. <laughs> Still a bit jet lag from last night, and uh, I think the bro is gonna have a lax. He said, "Don't put that in the video, bro. I think I'm lazy." But no, he won't know until this video comes out anyway. <laughs> but I'm tired as well, man. So we're gonna chill for a bit, and then we're gonna plan something, and we're gonna head out and do some more activities. But see this cool alleyway behind me man i love these spots in hong kong man so vibrant it just gives a lot of character to the city you've got these big flash buildings right there look behind me here old world new world all mixed together another reason why i love hong kong so much so beautiful place we're gonna chill and then we're on to the next adventure let's go so we're out at the hotel and we're heading down to one chai promenade to check out the harbor might jump on the star ferry as well just stopped at 7 Eleven for a quick feed. For some reason, it's not taking our Visa cards and the money machine, which is a pain in the ass, but it's taking my Amex, so that's all good. But the bar's got the egg salad sandwich. Hey man, not bad, so it's sweaty, it's hot, but we're gonna head down now. Let's have a look. Look at that beautiful view, man. You guys got to come down here. It's very, very quiet and chill on this side on Wan Chai. And when we get over to Jim Sa Tue, it's going to be very, very busy because they've got the Avenue of the Stars there, or I think it's Avenue of the Stars, something like that. So it's going to be very busy, but here it's very nice, man. Nice and quiet, very chill and tranquil. And you get a beautiful view of the Hong Kong skyline. So it's 30 degrees here, man. It's hot as hell. I am sweaty as I got a sweat towel and everything, man. But we're gonna go and grab a ticket and jump on this ferry, man. Let's go check it out. All right, the ferry's just rocked up. Get ready for the stampede, my first and first serve. They're gonna open this gate here. That okay. gate. As soon as that gate opens, everyone's gonna gun it for the best seats. Let's see how we go. We lost the rush, but uh, we got some kaka seats, but um, I hope we can still get some good views. So a good trick I learned last time on this is wait till everyone gets off and you can take great shots of the boat all by yourself. Welcome to Jim Sa Jui. Hong Kongers, please feel free to correct my terrible pronunciation, but I am giving it a go. We're kind of running out of gas here, mate. <laughs> Getting a bit tired, it's friggin' hot as heck, but this is a beautiful place, so let's go check it out. This was Rio's first time in Hong Kong, and it was cool to see him get such a buzz out of the amazing views of the harbour. We've both been big fans of martial arts movies since we were kids, so it was great to see a massive smile on his face when he got to stand next to one of his idols, Bruce Lee. Now it was his time to experience Hong Kong subways for the very first time. All right, fam, we're here at Jim Sa Jue train station. We were trying to top up these octopus cards because I haven't topped mine up in a long time and I decided to eat my card so <laughs> lucky I got another one but we finally got it we're gonna head through and see if we can get back to one chai nearly back at the hotel man those subways are crazy bro but honestly man you just gotta go and do it because a lot of times when you're older and you travel you like to be comfortable and sometimes it's really good to demystify things that you think are difficult or whatever and just going and doing it will definitely do that so i got no worries catching the train uh the subway anywhere so it's a great way to get around the city and very convenient so we're gonna head back to the hotel absolutely stuff man probably got a few k's today i'll put it up on the screen anyway yeah so we walked over 10 k's today in 30 degree heat so we were pretty smoked we were meant to go out for dinner but instead i ended up just eating some terrible ramen at the hotel 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.